Hello, and welcome to Ask the Code Doctor. I am Paul Carafa, your host, the Code Doctor. So let's get started. The topic of today's discussion will be proper installation of windows and doors in accordance to the building code. All of the numerous types of windows and doors must meet or exceed the Florida wind load requirements. These requirements are outlined in the Florida product approval documents. With us in the studio today is David Meyer. David is licensed as a building inspector, plan examiner, and building official. David has worked for the Polk County Building Division since September 2016. Prior to his employment with Polk County, David has installed thousands of windows and doors as a licensed contractor in Florida since 2002 and as a licensed contractor in Pennsylvania since 1990. David will share with us today his wealth of knowledge in the proper way to install windows and doors. Welcome, David, and thank you for being with us today. Let's start by asking you a few questions. Tell our audience, what exactly is Florida product approval? It is a system that ensures products are manufactured to a minimum standard, evaluated for performance criteria, and provides proper installation method. The website for obtaining the Florida product approval for any window or door can be downloaded at www.floridabuilding.org. How many types of windows are there? There are many, but the most common are single hung, double hung, horizontal slider, casement, and fixed. What is an egress window? Great question. Egress windows are also referred to as emergency escape and rescue windows. They must have a minimum clear opening size of 20 inches in width and 24 inches in height and be at least 5.7 square feet in area on any floor above the first. Egress windows located on the first floor only need to be 5 square feet in total area. When installing an egress window, the maximum sill height from the floor shall be 44 inches. How many types of exterior doors are there? Hinged and sliding are the most popular and commonly known. They can be made from a variety of materials such as wood, steel, fiberglass, vinyl, glass, composite, or aluminum. To determine the hinging on a door, use the butt-to-butt -butt method. You put your butt on the hinge butt and establish right or left hinge by your hand, in swing or out swing. Sliding doors are determined by X or O. X is operable and O is fixed, always viewed from the exterior. For example, XX would be both move, XO, uh, OX would determine right or left active, and XOX would be center fixed and the two ends would move into the center. This also applies to those horizontal sliding windows. When I hear the word glazing for windows and doors, what does it really mean? Basically, it's glass. There are many types of glass. There's single pane, double pane, often referred to as insulated, uh, triple pane, tempered, and impact resistant. Other common terminology is low E, argon, and grills. Low E glass, or insulated glass, is made from two panes of glass where they put a frame around it, seal it, and vacuum out the air. Low E is a coating that goes on the inside of the glass that helps reflect the sun and keeps the heat out, stops the uh, sun from fading your draperies, flooring, and furniture. Minimum glazing performance is established by the Florida Building Energy Efficiency Code. How does an installer ensure proper installation of a window or door? The window or door should be plumb, level, and square, properly fastened and sealed. For proper fasteners, shims, and placement of fasteners, refer to the Plor Florida product approval sheets. Windows and doors should operate smoothly and easily and provide a proper seal in the closed position. Is there a way to prevent doors and windows from leaking? Leaks from doors and windows can be minimized by proper installation and maintenance, keeping them clean and maintaining the caulk and the paint. Do not pressure wash windows and doors. Clean them by hand with proper solutions. Residential windows and doors are not made for use on submarines. They will likely leak from pressurized water or wind-driven rain.
Thank you, David, for visiting with us today. The information they have provided will be great assistance to homeowners. Information regarding emergency escape and rescue windows can be located in the 2020 Building Code Residential Chapter 3, Section R310, page 59. Any of the code sections referenced during any of the Ask the Code Doctor sessions are from the Florida Building Code Residential 2020 or the National Electric Code 2017. You can view all the 2014, 2017, and 2020 Florida Building Codes except the National Electric Code online for free at www.floridabuilding.org. Please send in any of your code questions to the Bartow mailing address. In closing, I wish to thank you once again for allowing me to visit your home.